Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maya Lahwari. I am the first PhD scholar to research emotional intelligence and its effect on leadership in the United Arab Emirates. I'm the chairperson of the Board of Governors at Dubai Carmel School. I'm also a certified trainer in positivity, tolerance, emotional intelligence, and soft skills in general. I'm also a TEDx speaker, a motivational speaker. I speak in conferences in the country and outside. I am a humanitarian. I work with the UAE Red Crescent. I was given the titles Ambassador of Knowledge twice, 2017, 2018. And I was given the title Tolerance Night under His Highness Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Hamid al Naimi in the year of tolerance 2019. I'm very proud of what I do in general. So how do I influence women? I'll be honest, I use my story and act as a role model. And when I do those two, I believe in the things that I have accomplished. And I believe in the power of me or the power of you that is gone long undiscovered. We lack the idea where we don't know the full potential that we have, the strength that is available within us. I've become more of an example where I empower other women to become the best version of themselves by looking into themselves through emotional intelligence skills and work hard on improving themselves to become the better, the better them rather than be the better of somebody else. What do I enjoy the most about being an entrepreneur? Well, I wouldn't call myself an entrepreneur, but I would call myself a gig economist where I do several things at the same time. I'm the chairperson of a school, of a, you know, the board. And then I, I also train. I teach at a university. I, um, I have my small abaya business. I do my, my separate sessions, uh, one-to-one or public sessions as well. So the best thing I enjoy about it is just being relevant, trying to, to work on all fronts. Others might see it difficult to handle, but when you plan things and you organize it the way you're supposed to, you're able to manage. I'm also a mother, I have three children. So I enjoy the best, the things that I enjoy about all of this is trying to be relevant in a market that is so fast paced and people need to find it and make it. How do I motivate myself in difficult times? For some reason, and a reason that I know, from all the experiences and the bad times I've gone through, and all the survivals that I've survived with success, I have built this confidence with, the, with Allah. I call it, I call him Allah. You could call him energy, universe, whatever you like. It's the same. I have that, that, that link, that cord that I know that this too shall pass for sure. You know, we hear this too shall pass, but we don't really believe it. And the doubt that is in you is what breaks you. So I keep it high because I know from past experiences that I've gone through that things have just, you know, I've, I've gone so low, but I've risen so high as well. So there's trust.